Steve, you've been in the on the Beijing roads, uh, yep. clogged, polluted, all the rest. You think Tesla's going to sell in China? Yeah, I think it's going to find a niche. I can't obviously predict that, but uh, Elon Musk is definitely saying uh, the market in China is going to be one of their biggest. He says it's going to match. It can has the potential to match the United States by 2015, so by next year. And the Model S uh, deliveries are going to be first coming into China uh, next month, at the end of next month. Elon Musk says he'll be traveling to Beijing and seeing his largest showroom in the world, which is in Beijing. I think you're seeing some footage of it right now. People are really curious about this. And uh, in China, where there are billionaires growing uh, on trees right now, uh, <laughs> you know, the, they have their Bentleys, they have their Rolls Royce, they definitely have their BMWs and Do Mercedes. Do they want their Teslas, though? But the Tesla is something new, okay? Yeah. Electric vehicles haven't necessarily taken off in China yet, because if families are going to have their one car or their first car they're going to buy, they want a nice powerful engine and one with lots of face, giving them face, right? Well, Tesla is something that is considered pretty cool. We don't know what yeah. it is. What is this? It's, it looks like a Maserati, but it's electric. So there will be some interest uh, there. I also want to bring up some footage because they are really marketing themselves as being unique. And there's this funky mall in Beijing uh, called Parkview Green, which is owned by this Taiwanese or Hong Kong a billionaire a Parkview up here in Hong okay. Kong, the big yeah. condominium complex. This is the, it's filled with art. Look, this is a, a flatulent bowl. Pe uh, people huh. go. <laughs> That's actually how I felt when I heard the $19 <laughs> billion dollar price tag for WhatsApp this morning. <laughs> uh, I was slammed up against the wall when I heard that price tag. That's a different story. But they are marketing the um, the Tesla electric cars as being funky and cool. And, uh, you know, this mall is filled with Salvador Dali sculptures right out in the middle of the mall. So it's an interesting uh, proposition that they're going to be putting to the uh, Chinese consumers so when the deliveries begin next month. So basically what you're saying is that Tesla is almost like an art piece and perhaps it's going to be that kind of face that people are going to be putting forward once they s sit behind that driver's seat. It's not a bad way to market it, actually, yeah. because uh, they want to differentiate themselves. Well, look, when you have pollution that is so clogging the airways and arteries of China... Of me. ...and yeah, people who live in it... <laughs> yeah, the I mean, arteries, yeah. This, uh, this could be you know, part of that uh, broader policy-making initiative of getting we'll see. cleaner air. I mean, there are a lot of incentives, and the Chinese government is uh, reducing incentives, but not by as much as earlier announced. But Tesla will not get those subsidies because they're an import, right? They are, mar they are actually trying to get the Chinese government to have them included in those incentives, which oh. help.